All right, what I'm going to be trying to do today is convert some of these old batteries that don't hold charge anymore, like this one, this one has not even a volt, oh, oh two volts there. Over to 230, 2 volts 30. So basically nothing. Let's see about. Use a screwdriver for this, but I just grabbed this because it was near me. This is a battery from 03. Still liquid in there. Anyhow, it actually is covering the fins though. So, all I'm going to do is dump that into a bucket here. Don't wear good clothes when you do this. If you get acid on them, you're going to have to wash them right away. Otherwise, the acid will eat right through them. I mixed up some uh, baking soda water. It's uh, eight ounces of baking soda, liquid measure to a gallon of water approximately. Once that's done draining, I'm gonna dump this in there. Got pretty good ventilation in here. Otherwise you should do this outside. He really bubbles. As soon as it stopped bubbling, and it's just got that baking soda water in there right now. I wanted to show you though. Hit like seven volts just with that baking soda water. A little over seven. I hit eight. My terminals need cleaning, but like eight, seven, eight volts. I'm gonna dump this though and put, I'm gonna mix up some uh, eight ounces of alum to a gallon of water and put that in there. First, I'm gonna rinse this a little bit more with the baking soda water. Alright, 
I rinsed it out once more with just plain water and dumped it. And I've let it drip for a little while now. So it's going to be basically completely empty. A little spot here. Now, I did the 8 ounces of liquid measure alum into water. Mixed it up good so it's all mixed. You know, like half filled this with water, then mix it. Now, fill this up. There we go. All the fins are covered. I just cleaned up the battery terminals on here fairly well. Use one of these little devices. It has little pins in there. Just put it on and you spin it. And it cleans off the corrosion. Does a fairly good job. Just like that. You know, you go all the way down though. Yeah, what do I do with it? Tester. So, before I hook this up, do this one more time. Seven point six, so about the same reading. Thought it might help to clean those more, but I didn't. I cleaned them some before. Oh, this is twelve volts. Uh, There's a three amp charger, so a nice slow charger. I don't know if you can see the little um, needle moves. I'll zoom in for you here. So yeah, it's about uh, 3 amps. It's charging at 3 amps right now. I think that's how you read it. So tomorrow, this will move down as it charges. It'll go down to zero, if I remember right. That means it's charged. Sorry. Pretty sure. All right, guys. It's been not quite 24 hours since I started charging this. And remember, it was up at three. Now it's down below one and you can see that it's below one uh, it came out after about an hour that it had been charging and we did have one little problem I had overflowed it a little bit so it was coming out from the charge was bubbling it and it was overflowing so that's where this came from this watery ice here it's it's below freezing out here anyhow I just put it down on the ground and I dumped out 
the excess made it even over all the fins and after that I didn't have any problem it's been charging see there's where I just dumped out the extra remember this is non-toxic now because it's just alum water basically pickling water well yeah anyhow so it's been charging overnight uh, like I say it's down to one on the charger I'll grab my tester and see what we're looking at Just over 13 volts, so that should have a charge on it. I don't know if you could see that or not. I think you could, maybe. Anyhow, 13.4. Uh, tell you what, I gotta get the mail. Why don't I take this and throw it in my truck and see if it'll start the truck? See what kind of. I mean, it is a deep cycle, it's not really for starting a vehicle, but we'll see if it even cranks it or anything. It's a bit taller. Hopefully the hood will shut. Sorry about that, of course the battery on the camera went dead just as, as I was getting done putting the battery in there, I think. Uh, anyhow, the orbital battery's out, gel filled, and we got our new pickle spice filled battery in there. Got the terminals on pretty good. Bring you over here, you should be able to hear it start, but also might be able to see the fans spin here. Give her a try. like it or anything. Although I don't think I can shut the hood. I think the battery's too tall. It looks like it's too tall. I don't think it I don't think it's gonna shut. No, oh, it's hitting. I can't shut the hood. But anyhow, just to show you that it works, that's pretty cool. That is pretty damn cool. I can't believe it, it did. <laughs> there you go, man. It works. Uh, wow. Very cool. It wouldn't have started it before, I'm sure of it. You know, it wouldn't take a charge before. I should have showed you all that, but this was a shit battery before. It wouldn't, you know, wouldn't do it. Even if it was a good battery before. Come on. We just replaced all the good shit out of it with pickling salt. Charged it. And it started a truck. 
Okay. <laughs> Come on. I mean, you know, this is that battery with pickling spikes in it. It fucking works. I can't, I, I'm, I'm, I didn't think it'd start the truck. That's awesome. Very awesome. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to do this some more. Do some other batteries I got. Try it. See if I can do it. The next one I'll try to start with. I'll try to charge first and try to start something with. You know, so you get the you know that whole picture. But I mean, still, this fucking. I didn't. I thought it'd probably work, but I didn't think it'd work this good. That's crazy. All right, I took it back out of the truck because it won't, you know, can't shut the hood because it's too tall of a battery. Uh, to test the voltage now, you know, after starting the truck. I only ran it for those few minutes or whatever. Uh, point two five ish still so that's pretty good I mean I think we were at 13 at four five and that could even that's that has gone down much from starting the truck there you know surprised it could even start the truck that's pretty sweet I'll put throw the charger back on it for now and uh, I guess we'll go to the next battery after this. Uh, charge went up to one and a half for charging, so whatever that means. This means it's charging, I guess. <laughs> 